In Romans chapter 9, there's this question that arises by the Gentiles. And this whole thing, Romans, is the Gentiles and the Jews trying to figure out the difference between faith and the law. But there's a question that arises. The Gentiles are thinking, well, how can I be secure in my salvation and my faith if the Jews who had the law, whom God chose specifically, led them into the promised land and gave them all these blessings, all these miracles, and now they seem to have blown it. They rejected the Messiah, they crucified the Messiah. So how can I be secure as a Gentile in my faith if they had all this special revelation and I don't? How do I know that I won't blow it, that I won't be you know, cast to the side because that seems to be what's happened to Israel? And so Paul begins to answer that question in Romans chapter 9 by saying it never was about the rules, the regulations, the special revelation. It was about faith. And that's how it started. It started with Abraham being called out of the era of Chaldees by faith. He, he went somewhere that he didn't even know where he was going. And he even went so far as to trust the Lord by faith to take his only son, Isaac, up to Mount Moriah and was going to, well, take his life, sacrifice him. And by faith, he found justification through God, salvation, the saving of his own son, not by keeping rules and regulations. And so that's what chapter 9 is all about. In fact, listen to these verses. I'll, I'll read them to you. It, it says this, But Israel, pursuing the law of righteousness, has not attained it. It says they stumbled. Why? Because they did not seek it by faith, but as it were, by the works of the law. For they stumbled at the stumbling stone, speaking of Jesus. But here's the good news for the Jews. In chapter nine, it talks about a remnant that God will use, that he'll restore. And in fact, today, the day that we live in, God is doing that in a powerful way in Israel, and all across the world, Jewish believers who believe in the Messiah and Jesus are coming together in amazing ways, Messianic Jews. So it's not by law, it's by faith in Jesus Christ, but God hasn't forgotten about Israel and he's building a giant remnant for his second coming.